carrot cake pakoras are one of my crazy middle of the night ideas. I deep fry carrot cake just like a traditional pakora and serve hot with a cool sweet cream cheese dip. It's a great way to use up leftover carrots. The best thing about making these carrot cake pakoras is that there's no weight. Like, make, fry, eat. So I want to make the dip first. So I've got full fat cream cheese. Now, never ever go for the low fat stuff. If you're going full fat, go all the way. And then I've got some butter. You want to keep mixing that. Mix it really, really well till the butter and the cream cheese have combined. You don't want any lumps. Mix in four tablespoons of icing sugar, two tablespoons of maple syrup and a pinch of salt. Make sure you scrape out every bit, all the fights we've had when there's not been enough dip. To finish off, add another dash of maple syrup and a pinch of mixed spice. Next, it's deep frying time. Heat one and a half litres of oil on a high heat, then grate the carrots. People deep fry chocolate bars, so why not deep fry cake batter? Get my carrots in. Roughly chop 50 grams of walnuts. Then add 50 grams of raisins and 20 grams of caster sugar. A lot of the ideas that I come up with just kind of come to me, either in a dream, like I'll dream about something and think, oh, I think that might work. And I mean, they don't always work, but some do. And I just, I knew it when I thought to myself, carrot cake pakoras, deep fried cake batter. I mean, I kind of knew in those four words that I think I can make this work. Mix in 120 grams of self-raising flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a teaspoon of mixed spice. What I don't want is a dense pakora. They need to be light and fluffy and crisp on the outside. And adding the self-raising flour, adding the baking powder, means that you get that kind of crispy outside, but really fluffy on the inside pakora. Lightly beat two eggs and stir into the mixture until you have a thick batter. Before the age of eight, I was frying pakoras like a demon. It's like, whew, you had to learn. And what you want in a batter like this is that everything that you've got in there needs to kind of stick together. As I mix it and kind of pile it up, if they look like they don't like each other and they're just kind of like separating, it needs to be thicker. Right now, they're clinging to each other, which means I can't let it sit, so I've got to get it fried. To test that the oil is hot, add a small drop of batter. If it rises to the top, the oil is ready for frying. The heat of the oil is really important. Not hot enough, and then as soon as the batter hits the oil, it just, all of it kind of like soaks up like a sponge. Gently drop teaspoons of the mixture into the oil. Make sure not to overcrowd the pan. You know when people say uh, the smell of a cake baking in your oven is the best smell? You should try frying your cake. Fry for four to five minutes until golden brown. They're just, like, bouncing up. Ooh, you're going nowhere. Come back. Dust with icing sugar. You know, when I thought I was mad at 2 o'clock in the morning waking up to cook this crazy idea, it's times like this I know it was worth it. Go for a dip. A hot carrot cake and cream cheese frosting. <laughs> I'm going to say it. That is carrot cake improved. Carrot cake pakoras with cream cheese dip. A delicious way to say goodbye to your leftover carrots.